Welcome all of you. It is one of the video lessons of English subject for the 10th class students. This online class is presented entirely in English language. In today's class, we discuss the story The Snake and Mirror was written by Vaikam Udha Bashir. We know the Vaikam Udha Bashir, one of the Malayalam prolific writers who is fondly remembered as Baipur Sultan, is regarded as one of the most prominent literary figures in India. He was awarded the Kerala Sahitya Academy Award, Vallathol Award and the Kerala State Film Award for the best story. His notable works include Balya Galasagi, Shabdangal, Pathumedaad, Madilugal, Janmadinam, etc. He was awarded with Padma Shri in 1982. Move to our lesson. Turn to page number 23, The Snake and Mirror. Let us start. The story in the form of narration given by a young doctor about his experience one night. The story was depicted in the first person of narration. The narrator of the story was a doctor in himself. Okay, turn to page number 23. We have to start from the first paragraph. Look into the first paragraph. Has a snake ever coiled itself around any part of your body? A full-blooded cobra? All of us fell silent. The question came from the homeopath. The story started with a conversation of someone. They are speaking about something. The one of the guys, a homeopath doctor. Homeopath doctor asked to others whether a venomous snake ever had called itself around any part of their body. By hearing the question, all of others became silent. Because it was a strange question. And it is unimaginable to play with snake. Snake is very dangerous being. So, the doctor asked the others, has a snake ever coiled itself around any part of their body? Everyone becomes silent. The topic came up when we were discussing snakes. There is a reason of this question of doctor because they were discussing about snake. Everyone presented their knowledge about snake. The homeopath started his story by asking this question. We listened attentively as the doctor continued with the tale. The doctor brought up the attention of everyone. He started telling his own story with a snake. Others listened very carefully to the story of the doctor. The doctor started his story. It was a hot summer night. About 10 o'clock, I had my meal at the restaurant and returned to my room. In a summer, after his supper from the hotel, he came back to his room at 10 o'clock. I heard a noise from above as I opened the door. The sound was familiar one. When the doctor returned to his room, when he opened the door of his room, he heard a sound from above. But it was not much fearful because it was very familiar sound. So the doctor did not give it much important. He thought it was a usual sound. Doctor thought that it was the sound of rats. It was a common sound. Doctor thought that anyone could say it was the sound of rats. There were no confusion on it. One could say that rights and I shared the room. Look the sentence, I shared the room. The phrase here, the doctor shared the room. The word share, we use this word when we share anything with someone else. But the doctor was living alone. Then why did he use this word share in here? Because the doctor means that there were rats living above the ceiling of his room. So, he shared the room with the rats and other small creatures. That, that is the meaning of the phrase, I shared the room. Okay. Then, I took out my box of mats and light the kerosene lamp on the table. Here, he entered the room. He took a match box and he lighted the kerosene lamp. Here, we can understand that the house was not electrified. He was using kerosene lamp for his light purpose. Okay, the room was not electrified. Okay, move to third paragraph. The house was not electrified. It was a small rented room. The house was not electrified. It was a rented room. It was not his own home. So, he had to pay the rent in monthly. We get another idea about the doctor. That is, why did the doctor choose an unelectrified room? Because he was a doctor. 
we get the idea we have to look it why did he choose an unelectrified room look into the reason okay i had just set up medical practice and my earning were meager the reason is that he had just set up his medical practice and he did not get much money his income was too short that is why he chose such a kinds of unelectrified rooms okay i had uh, about 60 rupees in my suitcase along with uh, some shirts and uh, dhotis i also possessed one solitary black coat which i was then wearing the wealth of the doctor is only a 60 rupees in his suitcase there were not much things in his hand he had only some shirts and dhotis he had a black coat it had been weird at that time in here we could get the financial condition of the doctor commonly every doctor may earn a lot of money but here we can see a contradiction that he was a poor doctor he earning was too low his financial condition was very bad he was a poor doctor we get something from here okay we move to our next page turn to next page fourth paragraph i took off my black coat white shirt and a not so wide vest and hung them up the doctor stripped off his coat shirt and gloomy vest and he hung them on the anger i opened the two windows in the room his room had two windows he opened those windows to get a little cold it was an outer room with one wall facing the open yard the room was an outer room mean it may be only a single room without attached with any building or houses one of the walls faced the yard he could came to the yard directly from his room it had a tiled roof with long supporting gables that rested on the beam over the wall the roof of the room was spread with tiles with the support of beam over the wall the roof is look like a triangle shape there was no ceiling there was a regular traffic of rats to and from the beam the room had no ceiling anyone could see the gables and a tile roof from the floor so the doctor could see the journey of rats over the beam i made my bed and pulled it close to the wall Doctor arranged his bed to lie on there. He pulled it close to the wall for a comfort. I lay down, but I could not sleep. I got up and went out to the veranda for a little air, but the wind god seemed to have taken time off. He lied there. He lied on his bed, but the sleep did not come. He could not get it. He felt much heat in near the house. so he got up from there and he went out to veranda to get wind or cool air but it was vain there were no wind i went back into the room and sat down on the chair with much disappointment he went back to his room and sat on the chair in his room i opened the box beneath the table and took out a book the materia medica he felt discomfort he could not get sleep so he thought to read something that he opened a box under the table and he took a book from it it was the book the materia medica i opened it at the table on which stood the lamp and a large mirror a small comb lay beside the mirror he opened that book and put it on the table there were some articles the kerosene lamp was lighted on the table a large mirror and a comb there combo was very near to the mirror one feels tempted to look into the mirror when it is near i took a look the doctor claimed the common behavior of the people and the enchanting power of a mirror the mirror tempts to us to look into it when it is near also the doctor looked into the mirror and he admired his own beauty In those days I was a great admirer of beauty and I believed in making myself look handsome. In those days the doctor was very conscious about his own beauty. He had a dream to increase his beauty and make himself a handsome guy. There was two reasons behind it. What what are that reasons we have to look at? 
I was unmarried and was a doctor. Yes, the reason is that the first thing he was unmarried and second thing was he was a doctor. I felt I had to make my presence felt. I picked up the comb and ran it through my hair and adjusted the parting so that it looked straight and neat. He wanted to make him more beautiful. So he took the comb lying near the mirror and he combed his hair. He adjusted the parting area and, and he straightened his hair by combing. He made it straight and neat. Again, I heard that sound from above. Then he heard again the same sound which he heard while opening the room. But he did not give much serious it because he thought that was right. Next paragraph. I took a close look at my face in the mirror. The doctor looked into the mirror to watch his face closely and he enjoyed his beauty in himself. I made an important decision. The doctor, while he enjoying his beauty, he began to take some of the decisions to make him beautiful. First decision, I would shave daily and grow a thin mustache to look more handsome. The doctor enjoyed his beauty very well. He thought he would shave daily and keep a thin mustache to look more handsome. He started to take some decisions. Then he thought himself that I was after all a bachelor and a doctor. The reason behind it all that he was a bachelor and a doctor, he thought himself. I looked into the mirror and smiled. He enjoyed his beauty looking in the mirror and, and he smiled to the reflection of his face. It was an attractive smile. The doctor think that he admired his own smile. He felt that his smile was very attractive. I made another age shaking decision. I would always keep that attractive smile on my face. To look more handsome, I was after all a bachelor and a doctor too on top of it. He took another big decision. He planned to keep that smile on his face. It makes him more handsome and also he wanted to make him more handsome because he was a bachelor and above it all he had a respective job that he was a doctor. Again came that noise from above. Again he heard that noise but he did not give much importance to it. I got up lit a bead and paced up and down the room. He got up from the chair, then he took a bead and he lit it. He walked along the room with a smoking bead and thinking about something. Then another lovely thought struck me, I would marry. Another thought came to him which is about his marriage. He wanted to marry a lady. I would get married to a woman doctor who had plenty of money and a good medical practice. There is a special about his bride, he want to marry a wealthy lady doctor and she should have a good experience. She had to be fat for a valid reason. Another dream about his bride is that she should be a fat lady. There was a serious reason behind it. We had to find out what was that valid reason. Continue. If I made some silly mistake and needed to run away, she should not be able to run after me and catch me. The reason is that if the doctor made any mistake, he would need to run from her. If she was fat, she could not run after him and catch him. So that he want to marry a fat lady. Next paragraph. Paragraph 10. With such thoughts in my mind, I resumed my seat in the chair in front of the table. The doctor thought these kinds of thoughts. He thought about his beauty. He wanted to keep moustache on his face. He wanted to keep a smile on his face and he wanted to marry a fat lady. With these kinds of thought, he came back to the table and he sat on the chair in front of the table. There were no more sounds from above. Now, he could not hear any sound from above. Now, there were no sounds. Before it, 
he heard that sound many times he had uh, heard that sound when he opened the door and he thought about many dreams but now there were no sound it was quiet there suddenly there came a dull thud as if a rubber tube had fallen to the ground yes suddenly there came a dull thud as if a rubber tube had fallen to the ground surely nothing to worry about he heard the sound like some rubber tube fell to the ground he thought it might be right or anything like he thought there were nothing to fear so he did not give any importance to it but even so i thought i would turn around and take a look he thought that there were not fearful and he wanted to know what it was so he turned his head to understand what it was so he turned his head back no sooner had i turned than a fat snake wriggled over the back of the chair and landed on my shoulder the snakes landing on me and my turning were simultaneous without wasting time the doctor looked the back that time a snake wriggled on to the back of the chair and it landed on his shoulder his turning of his head and landing of the snake were happened together then what happened we will discuss it in our next class here we wind up our lesson the rest of the lesson we will discuss our next class in part 2 of the lesson the snake and the mirror today we discuss some of the parts of the waikam muhammad bashir story the snake and the mirror the narrator was the doctor the protagonist of the story was the doctor the doctor and his friends were discussing about snake the doctor started to tell his own experience with a snake doctor started to tell his tale it was a hot summer after eating meal he came back to his room he was a poor doctor the room was not electrified and it was a rented room then when he opened the room he heard a noise from above it was a familiar sound so he did not give much attention to it he took off his dress and he arranged the bed to sleep but there were not cool he came out to get cool but he didn't get from there he returned to back to his room while he is sitting on the chair he saw the mirror on the table he looked into the mirror he admired his own beauty then he took some decisions that he would shave daily and keep a thin mustache he would keep an attractive smile on his face and at last he decided to marry a fat woman doctor there was a reason behind it if he made any mistake he would want to escape from her if she was a fat lady she could not run after him the doctor thought these kinds of thought and with these kinds of thought he came back to the table and he sat on the chair in front of the table now there were no sound suddenly he heard a sound like some rubber tube fell to the ground he thought it might be right or anything like that he thought that there were not fearful and he wanted to know what was that so he turned his head to understand what was that that time a snake wriggled onto the back of the chair and landed on his shoulder his turning of his head and landing of the snake were happened together these things are we discussed in today's class uh, read the lesson once and, and comprehend it well there were some of the textual based questions that we have to discuss look at the first question what was the topic that came up for discussion between the doctor and his friends we know that the doctor and his friends were discussing about a snake then the doctor raised a question what was that question yes we know that it was we will get the question in from the first paragraph the question is that has a snake ever coiled itself round any part of your body it was the topic of the discussion then how, how could we write the answer we can write like this the topic that came up for the discussion between the doctor and his friends was, was related to snakes 
the doctor asked whether anyone had a snake coiled itself round the body it was the answer of the first question okay move to second question what does the expression a full blooded cobra suggest there is another question for us full blooded cobra it is one of the phrase that, that was used the, the other a full blooded cobra the cobra was very poisonous and a very dangerous being we know that full blooded cobra we know that cobra is venomous snake so here it means poisonous snake then how would be the answer the expression a full blooded cobra suggests that it was a dangerous and poisonous cobra look into the third question the sound was a familiar one what was the sound when the doctor opened the door he heard a sound from above the doctor said that it was a familiar sound then we can find the answer we know that it was the usual sound of him it was the sound of something moving on the beams of the tiled roof of the house then what was the answer it was the sound of something moving on the beams of the tiled roof of the house the doctor thought that it was the sound of rats running across the beams okay we can write it simply we can write it like this the sound made by the rats running about we can write like that or it was the sound made by rats we can write anything okay as you like you can write the answer move to next question fourth question in those days i was a great admirer of beauty pick out phrases and expressions from the story to justify the statement we have seen some of the expressions of doctor's admiration on beauty we can get it from the from the paragraph the author used many expressions to say the beauty conscious of the doctor we, uh, we can write some of the expressions I picked up the comb and ran it through my hair and adjusted the parting so that it looked straight and neat. It is was it is one of the expressions. Okay, then we can write another one. I would shave daily and grow a thin mustache to look more handsome. This uh, we have written two examples. If you want anything more, you can write in making myself look handsome. to make my presence felt like that we can write more expressions there you can find out from there okay move to our next question question number 5 what are the two important and earth shaking decisions that the doctor takes while looking into the mirror the doctor took two decisions one is to shave daily and grow thin mustache it is one of the decision and the one second thing is that to keep that smile on his face okay it is another one then how would be the answer we can write the important decision is to shave daily and grow a thin line of mustache to look more handsome the earth shaking decision is to keep the attractive smile on his face this is the answer of the fifth question okay move to the sixth question again came that noise from above Did the doctor pay much attention to the noise? Why? While the doctor opening the door, he heard a noise from above. But now he heard the sound. Did he give any attention to the sound? It is the question for us. What is the answer? No. The doctor thought it was the usual sounds of rats. So he did not give much attention for it. Then how would be the answer? We can write like this. No. The doctor did not pay much attention to the noise because he thought that it was the familiar sound of the rats running across the beam. Seventh question: What kind of a woman does the doctor want to marry? Why? The doctor dream. Doctor had a dream about his bride. What was the bride? He wanted to marry a fat lady. There is a valid reason. If he made any mistake, he would need to run away. Then, how can you write the answer? The doctor wants to marry a fat woman doctor who has plenty of money and a good medical practice. She should be fat so that she should not be able to run after him and catch him. It was the reason. Okay. Then last question, eighth question. What happened when the doctor was sitting on his chair? With a great thought, the doctor was sitting on the chair. Then a strange event happened. What was that strange event? We can write like this. When the doctor was sitting on his chair, something fell from the roof with a thud. He saw that it was a snake. The fat snake wriggled over the back of the chair and landed on his shoulder. It was the 
answer of the eighth question today we discussed 10 paragraphs and eight questions related to these paragraphs analyze it read the lesson and comprehend the lesson very well okay we wind up today's online class here thank you